Good morning, everyone. Blessings. Today, I'm making this video to share a video that states reality. Heed what I'm trying to state, loves. Heeds reality in this physical realm. But all of this that is being spoken in this video share that I will, will share through scripture, Abba Father blows his trumpet through his word. He, he gives us fair warning, loves, fair warning regarding what this man is stating on that video. This is the second video that I have heard regarding this. Um, and yes, it will happen if we do not turn to our Abba Father God through His Son and heed the spoken word loves. So in this video share, the scriptures that Abba Father has brought in my spirit and I feel whether it's His anger or mind and spirit that are we this death are we this blind that we cannot heed the warnings through the word of our God he he states it clearly of what we need to do so that what is spoken in that video does not fall upon us As our prophets, our or the Jesus' apostles, disciples, they were bold. They had this boldness. Why? Because are, they're like saying, are, are we this blind? I'll say it again. Are we this deaf that we cannot heed the spoken word of our God, the power that resonates from our God, if all we all we have to do is turn to Him, there's no greater power over our God. And people, we're not ready for what what this world has planned for us. We are not ready spiritually to allow this to fall upon us and our family. For that reason, Abba Father brings for warnings. Through his word, through his word, loves, what we need to do. Uh, uh, the first scripture that I'll share is 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and I'll start at verse 3. It is heavy for what Abba Father is trying to state in his word for all of us. And I give him all glory that he gives me the courage because sometimes I, I want to just say no. They don't want to hear. Then let them. But you know what? It's the love of our God that gives strength to like this gentleman that's sharing what he, the video that I'm sharing, what he's sharing. And what I'm ab about to share through scripture, it is the love of our God for each and every. Every one of us loves to heed his word. Again, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, give me the calmness that I need to speak your word of what you want your children to understand the power that you hold if we turn to you and heed your spoken word, Father. So I share boldly what you are asking me to share with your children, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. And it is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 3 through 6. And it states, For though we walk, for though we walk in the flesh, loves, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty, mighty loves in God for pulling down strongholds. This world 
is trying so hard to put their stronghold in our lives to believe their reality. When Abba Father states it through his word, no, it is not their reality. He's telling us, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God. Mighty in God. The power, the Abba Father holds the power, loves, to bring down these strongholds that this world is trying to place upon our lives that that's the reality. When Abba Father says, uh-uh, I hold the power. Abba Father holds all power. And he says, for casting, casting down arguments and every high thing, which is the reality of this world, that exalts itself. That is what they're trying to do, exalt their reality. This world's reality is trying to exalt itself against the knowledge of our God. Heed the word, loves, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. What obedience is that, loves? What obedience is that? That we obey the spoken written word of our God and he holds all power. Abba Father holds all power against the reality of this world. Their stronghold. Abba Father is the only one. If we proclaim his word, fair warning, his word states, casting down, you, you pull them down, you stomp them on your, beneath your feet, cast down arguments and every high thing that tries to exalt itself over the spoken written word, loves, because the power is within our God, only and only him, through Christ. So the last verse, and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So everything that this world is stating that is what is about to fall upon us, this is where we punish it. We bring it down. All disobedience, because it's, diso it's disobeying the word of our God, trying to exalt itself above our God, and we, we cast it down. And until our obedience is fulfilled in scripture, that we heed, we heed the spoken written words, loves. I completed with Jeremiah and I, I have videos where I've already shared it, but I'm sharing it with this video, share loves. And it's out of Jeremiah 6. Verses 16 through 19. Thus says the Lord, our God loves, stand in the ways and see, behold, and see loves. And as for the old paths, the spoken written word, not the new reality of this world, he states, stand in the ways and see, and as for the old paths, where the good way is and walk in it, fair warning loves, then you will find rest in your souls. Until we do this loves, none of this will fall upon us. But if we choose not to obey the spoken written word, that we do not allow this world's thoughts, and reality to exalt, exalt itself above our God. That reality will fall upon our lives and we're not going to like it. We're not going to, to stand firm in the word because they're, they'll place everything that they want in our lives. And all we need to do is stand in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where the good way is and walk in it. 
Then you will find rest for yourselves. God says, but they said, we will not walk in it. Why? Because we're choosing to obey the reality of this world, loves. That's not what we, we need to do. We need to stand firm. And it says, also, I set watchmen over you. This gentleman, me sharing the word and many others. My love's another one. We, we stand firm and we state it. Heed the word. That reality that th this world is trying to place upon our lives is wrong. Abba Father, through his word, years, thousands of years ago, wrote it for us to heed his voice now. It says, also, I said, watchmen over you saying, listen, listen to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not listen. Therefore, hear, you nations, Abba Father states, and know, O oh, congregation, what is among them. It states, hear, O oh, earth. Behold, I will certainly bring calamity on this people. The fruit of their thoughts, the fruit of your thoughts, loves. Not that we... the, the you are exalting the thoughts of this world over our God and Abba Father. Answers through Jeremiah 6, verse 19. Hear, O earth. Behold, I will certainly bring calamity on this people. The fruit of their thoughts. Because they have not heed my words, nor my law, but rejected it. Are we this blind and dead that we cannot heed the spoken written word of our God? This is, this is heavy. Abba Father says that he sends watchmen to oversee his children. Those that hearken his voice. Abba Father, I hear you. We, we choose not to live our lives fully. In the pleasure of our choice, instead, we choose to hearken the voice of our father for the love of his children and for the love of our brothers and children, our brothers and sisters, for the love we share for our God in the mighty name of his son, Jesus. And we're still dead. It, he states it again, verse 19, Hear, O earth, behold. Behold, loves, I will certainly bring calamity on this people, the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not heed my words. Second Corinthians 10, verse 5, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into the captivity to the obedience of Christ. He's forewarning us in the Old Testament out of Jeremiah 6 verse 19 to fulfill 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 and 6 and being ready to punish all disobedience when our obedience is fulfilled, not to allow the thoughts and imagination of the reality of this world over the truth of our God. Heed the words, loves. Again, I share the spoken written word. I will place the video share under the description box. Plus, I will pin it in the first comment. If you do not see it, just click on the the three to four horizontal lines, click it, click on newest, and it'll come out in the first comment. Heat the word, study. I will also place the scriptures that I just shared, loves, under the description box. And all glory to our God in the name of his son, Jesus, that we need to heed. Fair warning that Abba Father says, heed me.
and I will not allow this calamity to fall upon us. Keep the spoken written word, loves, seek his word. Blessings.